Speaking with Visit Cheyenne President Darren Rudloff, and Darren, one of the items on the uh, general election ballot here in Laramie County, uh, less than two weeks away now, is the lodging tax. First of all, what is the lodging tax? The lodging tax is a small tax paid by visitors when they stay in our hotels, motels, and campgrounds. Laramie County residents uh, don't pay the tax unless they spend a night in one of our own lodging uh, buildings or lodging properties here in Laramie County. You know, Laramie County residents may pay it when you go to other parts of the United States, but typically Laramie County residents don't pay the tax within Laramie County. The tax has been in effect since 1987 when the voters first approved it, and it's been approved by the voters in Laramie County every time it's been on the ballot uh, since then. So this is not a new tax. It is a renewal And it's a very common way communities throughout the United States uh, promote travel and tourism. This is the funding source for that uh, promotion. And how many? uh, How much is the tax on every dollar? How many pennies? The tax is a four. The lodging tax is four percent in in Laramie County. So it's a four percent tax on the cost of your hotel room. And where does the money generated by the tax go? What's it used for? Uh, The money is used to uh, develop and promote Laramie County as a travel and tourism destination. So Visit Cheyenne uses the funds to advertise and promote the area outside. Again, our mission statement pretty much is we try to find people from outside the county, get them to come here, spend money, have a good time, and and leave. So we advertise, we promote our area, we talk to travel writers to get good stories about Laramie County in the media, we attract conventions, and bus tours into the area. We operate visitor centers in both the depot and in Pine Bluffs to make sure people uh, know where to go and where they can spend their uh, money. We also operate, of course, the trolleys with the historic trolley tours throughout the summer months. We do the Christmas light tours, the Halloween tours, and the trolleys are also used by charters for weddings, for family reunions, for class reunions throughout uh, the year. One other thing we do a lot of work with um, is Visit Cheyenne supports many quality of life uh, improvement projects throughout the community that are nice for both visitors and and residents. Things like the uh, Cheyenne wayfinding signs that are all over the community now. We've worked with, of course, the horse-drawn carriages downtown. We are working with the, to develop the splash pad we, of course, developed Cheyenne Restaurant Week, which many of our local residents, of course, enjoy every April. So there are many quality of life projects that we work on for both visitors that local residents enjoy as well. How much money does the tax raise here locally, roughly? Do you know? About last year, um, or this year, it will raise about $1.9 million dollars. Uh, from the lodging tax. And does that go to any other organizations, or is it just uh, Visit Cheyenne? It's visit Chi- uh, primarily to Visit Cheyenne, only to Visit Cheyenne. Now, as far as the, uh, as far as the, uh, the vote on this, it's every four years. Do I have that right? Correct. The voters, uh, this is on the ballot for local uh, voters' um, consideration every four years. So uh, it passed last time around in 2014. So it's on the ballot here in 2018, and will be again in 2022. Now, people from Laramie County, when they travel to other areas, they're pretty typically going to end up paying a similar tax, right? Yes, uh, pretty much. Um, you go anywhere in the United States or throughout Wyoming, and you will pay typically a lodging tax at a much higher rate, usually in other uh, areas throughout the United States. Uh, our hoteliers tell us that our tax rate does not deter visitors um, in any significant way uh, because we have a, a low rate compared to our surrounding areas. Dan, are there any misconceptions about this tax you might want to clear up? Well, many people, of course, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll say, you know, a tax is usually never popular. You know, <laughs> nobody really uh, enjoys uh, a, a tax. But the lodging tax is a pretty beneficial one. Um, It's paid primarily by people from outside of Laramie County, yet we all benefit from it here in the county. Uh, Of course, businesses throughout the county um, 
benefit from visitors spending money, not just at hotels and restaurants, but people are coming here to experience um, the way of life out in the West. So they're spending money at all of our attractions. They're going to grocery stores. They're getting gasoline. That money is trickling all through uh, the economy to help businesses. Of course, they're also paying taxes. They're paying about 10% of the total sales tax collected in Laramie County. So those are taxes that we don't have to pay. So they're paying for the Botanic Gardens. They're paying for the Greenway. They're paying for roads, uh, the Christensen Project, et cetera, by their visitor spending. Uh, in fact, if you take out the taxes paid by visitors, every Laramie County family would have to pay an additional $516 a year for the same level of public services. So visitors are, are reducing uh, our own tax uh, burden here in Laramie County for uh, Laramie County uh, residents. And of course, uh, again, we all benefit uh, from the restaurants that tourism supports. Uh, Little America with their ballroom that we all have events in. All of those uh, public amenities that often are used by visitors our residents can enjoy as well. Now, Darren, what would happen for your organization if the voters rejected this tax? What would that mean? If the voters uh, reject the lodging tax, it would mean that Laramie County wouldn't have an organized tourism promotion uh, effort. Uh, of course, Frontier Days and the hotels would do a little bit, but we wouldn't have an umbrella organization like Visit Cheyenne to promote the entire industry and be a unifying effort uh, with all of the, the partners. So without that unifying effort uh, of our sales and promotion efforts, uh, we would have less visitors in town, less conventions, um, and less tax dollars coming in. Okay, Darren, is there anything else you'd like to say on this subject? Uh, no, again, the, the lodging tax, um, I would just I would say it again, Doug, the, you know, most people don't enjoy uh, a tax, or, or a tax isn't the most popular thing you can uh, come up with here, but this tax is uh, a pretty good one in that it's paid primarily by uh, people from outside of the county, yet Laramie County residents are all benefiting from its, uh, from its application.